There are 11 Incoterms 2020 rules. These globally recognized trade terms, published by the International Chamber of Commerce, determine how costs and risks are split between buyers and sellers conducting international transactions, and when the risk or liability for the goods transfer from the seller to the buyer. I'm Kari Crane, editor of Shipping Solutions International Trade Blog Passages. Today I'll take a closer look at the Incoterms Rule CIP, also known as Carriage and Insurance Paid To. But first, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our Basics of Exporting videos, sharing practical advice for exporters and importers. Here's what you need to know before using the Incoterm CIP. Under CIP, the seller is responsible for delivering goods to the first carrier or another person stipulated by the seller at a named place of shipment, at which point the risk transfers to the buyer. The seller is responsible for the transportation costs and insurance associated with delivering goods at least to the named place of destination. CIP is one of only two Incoterms 2020 rules that identify which of the parties must purchase insurance. CIF is the other. The amount of insurance required under CIP has increased to at least 110% of the value of the goods, as detailed in Clause A of the Institute Cargo Clauses rather than the lower level provided under Clause C, which is what was required for CIP in the 2010 rules and still is required for CIF. This is because CIP is most commonly used for manufactured goods with higher value than the commodity goods more typically shipped under CIF. CIP can be used for any mode of transportation. With all of the C group terms, the seller is responsible for contracting international transportation and purchasing insurance. The named place where the transfer of responsibility occurs is always on the buyer's side. What's the difference between CPT and CIP? CIP accounts for some of the risk the buyer is taking on when the seller arranges transportation. Under CIP, the seller is obligated to insure the goods in favor of the buyer to cover the buyer's risk. If you are regularly involved in international trade, you need to understand the risks and responsibilities for each of the Incoterms 2020 rules, not just pick the term you always use. Shipping Solutions is here to help. Download our free chart of responsibilities to compare all 11 Incoterms and our free white paper, An Introduction to Incoterms. You'll find links below. If you liked this video, like it, share it, and make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Watch for more videos sharing real practical advice for exporters and importers.